Hello, this is the model 214 tilting head bandsaw by Forest Manufacturing. Today we'll be discussing the reasons and the methods you might use to adjust wheel cant. This is also known as wheel tilt. So let's have a look at the wheels and discuss what cant means. This is the blade wheel on your model 214 uh, tilting head bandsaw and we notice that well you can't see from there but this blade is not centered on the wheel and that as a result of the cant of the wheel and that means that the top of the wheel or the bottom of the wheel depending on the direction is not straight so it's leaning forward or it's leaning back and because of this crown here the lean of the wheel will actually want to push the blade to the forward of the wheel or push the blade to the back of the wheel. When that happens, you might notice your blade coming out a little bit twisted to the left or the right. And obviously, that's going to make for a poor cut. So today, we'll look at the method we use to solve this problem to get the blade centered on our wheel. I've got the camera looking down on the saw now. You can see this is where we just were. Let's come around and look down on the wheel and you can see that the blade is not in the center. So because the blade is to the back of the saw, that means our blade is going to want to wander to the right side while we're cutting. I hope this doesn't move around too much. So we want to move the blade to the left or toward the front of the saw. To do that, We'll come around to the rear and adjust these four bolts to increase or decrease the distance here. This is the wheel tilt plate and by increasing or decreasing this gap we can adjust the tilt of the wheel and therefore move the blade to the center so we get straight cuts. I've moved the camera around to the rear of the saw now. We're looking at the adjustment plate, the pillow blocks, the shaft, the wheel, wides, the wheel rides on. These are locking bolts and these are adjustment bolts. So the question is now, do we tighten or loosen these bolts? And that's a good question. Our blade is riding toward the rear of the saw, which means we actually want to move the top of the wheel toward the front of the saw. That's kind of counterintuitive, but it works because of the crown that's on the wheel. Whichever direction you move the top of the wheel, the blade will follow that. So since our blade is riding toward the rear of the saw, we want to move the top of the wheel toward the front of the saw. To do that, we need to increase this gap. So to increase this gap, we need to screw these bolts in. So first, we'll get started by loosening these, screwing these in, quarter turn, half a turn, depending retighten these, give the blade a couple of revolutions and see if it trues itself up on the wheel. To make this adjustment we'll need a 9 16 wrench and you would do really well to use a sharpie too. We'll start by using our sharpie to mark the same face on these bolts. We want to be able to count the revolutions that we make so we can keep them both even. So when we adjust them, we can look at where this line goes and we'll know how many times we've turned it exactly. Now that we've used our Sharpie to mark out one face on our bolts, we'll get ready to loosen the top. So let's do that now. Okay, now we've got the top loose. We should be able to move these just with our fingers. If we can't, it's all right. We can use a wrench. Now to increase this gap, we need to screw these bolts in. So I'm pretty far off center right now. So I'm gonna go a complete half a revolution. I'm gonna check to make sure that it's half a revolution by checking where my mark is. And that, there we go, that's about half. And now we'll tighten these back down. We 
we're looking down on the blade on the blade wheel right now and we see that no the blade hasn't moved well you need to give it a few revolutions Let's see if it doesn't oh there it is okay so we're not quite to the middle yet we can maybe go a quarter turn so let's try again and see where we get it move the camera back around to the back of the machine now now we didn't go far enough last time so we need to make a little bit more adjustments so we'll loosen these up again same procedure now so we want to increase the gap a little bit more since we're pretty close I'm gonna say about a third of a turn a little more than a quarter a little less than a half let's lock them back down see where we got Here we are, looking down on the blade again. I'm gonna give it a quick rotation. And you can see it's moved forward. I can see that the width of the blade is just about centered on the wheel with the teeth sticking out just a little bit forward. This has been the procedure we use here at Force Manufacturing to adjust wheel tilt or cant. It may take some trial and error to determine how many turns of the adjustment screws are going to translate to an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch or whatever you need for the movement of your blade. But once you get that dialed in, this is a relatively easy adjustment to make. You only need a wrench and a Sharpie and there's nothing that's gonna get you cutting straight and clean quicker than a simple wheel cant adjustment. Thank you.